Calabash automation. In my previous video, I did show that how to write the Calabash uh, test, how to set up the Calabash framework and run your test first feature. And now I'm going to show you how to write Calabash iOS the automation uh, custom scripts. So, uh, yeah, I made a small feature file which says given I'm on the welcome screen when I click edit button then I see done button when I click done button then I see edit button so it's a very simple test but this should show you how to run the test so this application is running at the moment let's, uh, let's start our test it will launch the application and it will complain that these four steps were not implemented Okay, in fact, it recognizes all this as like two two text two tests. So these tests should be implemented. Let's see the extra steps which were there present. And so I click on this button is same, and and I see the button. These are recognized as two same tests. when I click so, so when I click a button I should know what to what code to put in there so when I have a simulator I can see what code to put in but I don't have a simulator at the moment so let's stop the simulator at this step so I want to sleep the, I want to make my simulator stop the execution at this step when it's executing the text so let's run this okay my application is running and it has stopped stopped at the step we want so let's do some queries from Calabash iOS command control so yeah we can launch it like this okay now let me start let me run a command to see query view let me, let me charge a meanwhile Okay, I need to know where is my where is my edit text in where is my button in this view. So I'll search for edit and I find it here. So all I need to do is I need to copy this button label, then query button label. Yeah, there is one item of one view of kind button label and it has a text edit on it so this is the one which we have to verify and which we have to take so, uh, touch so touch is simple it says only one element of the kind just use this so now edit text has changed to done so same here so this is done so we have to be extra safe we set something like this Okay, so it searches for a button label with text edit on it. So this is just to be extra safe. So when I click this button, and this should be and how do how do I verify this? No, I don't need this. How do I verify this? So verification is also quite simple. Okay, let's do it. So I do like some Ruby code itself here. If this button label 
dot md so that means even it's an empty when it's empty it will say true when it's not empty it will say false so it means if it's now it's not empty so it won't enter here so this didn't print anything let's copy this Okay, so this as in here should be replaced by R1. Okay, so let's put a sleep of a second in all this just to be sure that we not things very quickly. Yep. Okay, so let's let's run this now. Okay. Well, I click edit button, then I see done method. So, so there's an undefined method in here, which says sleep. Okay, should have corrected it before. Ruby does complain only while running because that's why it's called Ruby interpreter. If it was a compiler, it should have complained at the beginning itself. Well, I did verify done button and when I click done I see edit so my test passed and this is a quick video to show how to write custom steps for Calabash IOS this should be like a guide for starting writing or custom steps and if you find any any problem just leave a comment in my video and if you like my video just like my subscribe to me thanks for viewing this have a nice day ahead cheers this was stage here bye